guys welcome back so today I am going to be showing you my November favorites and it is December 10th but we're gonna go with it so I'm gonna be showing you what I've been loving this last month and the last couple months because Lord knows when was my last favorites video I don't even remember but I really wanted to film a video so here you go we're just gonna get right into this video right now I'm gonna start off with lip products because I have quite a few so actually I don't have that many so first off I'm gonna start with this um the little Vaseline don't mind my nails by the way because I haven't got them done in a really long time because I'm trying to let them heal and grow back because I had acrylics on for a little bit so don't don't judge me anyways so um First off, I had this little Vaseline guy for the Lip Therapy original one. I've really enjoy been enjoying this since it's been getting colder. My lips have been really, really dry. It's kind of gross. So, um, this has been my best friend. Then I've also been really enjoying these little babies right here. And these are the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. Um... I think I really like this formula for a liquid lipstick. It's not drying at all, but it doesn't um, transfer off too much. And when I wear them, they really do kind of just stay all day on my lips. I've really been enjoying this color, and this one is in Chianti. Chianti? And it's just a really, really dark purple. I'll show you what it looks like. And then this one is Aria, which I've also been loving. These are just really good darker colors. And then I like this one too when I'm feeling more on the neutral side. It's just a lighter pink. This one is Patina. Yeah, I've really been enjoying these three colors. And then I've really been liking the 1993 lipstick from Urban Decay that I showed you in my birthday haul. I actually like messed it up. It like touched the top of the cap because I was like playing with it. I was like going like this and I guess it was actually like I was fiddling with it in my hand and I guess it actually like started to move up and it like it's not cute anymore but it's this one right here. I wore this one on my birthday, and I said that in my last video, but definitely love, love, love this. And I like the formula, too. It's really not drying at all for a matte lipstick. I'm going to move on to face. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in my last Get Ready With Me video, and um, I said I just got them, so I was just trying them out. But I seriously love, 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 love this combination. It's like... It's the best. So it's the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Base Primer. And then the Becca Backlight Filter Primer. Love, 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 love. Sometimes I wear them by themselves, like when I'm not even doing any makeup kind of day. Just because it gives my skin a really nice finish. It smooths off the pore, so I use that as like kind of a pore filter. And that just, um, I feel like my makeup really sticks to it really well. And then I put this one on just to give me a kind of healthy and dewy finish to my skin. And it works great underneath makeup and great without any makeup on top of it. It's just, I, I love this. I definitely recommend this. My favorite foundation of life, the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. And I am in the color 225 Medium Buff. And I really need... To remember that because I've been meaning to pick up another one because this is a literally empty. There's nothing in it really. I And if I do use it, I have to like hit it and like leave it like this for a while so then all the product can come down so I can actually get something on my face. But this is by far my favorite um, drugstore foundation. I don't know if I've said this before in a video, but I've been using this every day for the last like two or three four months I think it was I don't know I never do favorites videos so I don't really know how long I've been using this but I know I've used it long enough to finish the whole bottle and I know it's just amazing so it says it's for normal to dry skin um I recommend this to anyone that asks me 
for a good um, drugstore foundation, either this one or the Matte and Poreless, depending on the skin. It's super, super lightweight. It feels like you're wearing nothing on your face, and that is the best feeling. It's very liquidy and thin, but it gives you a really good coverage, so... Yes, I need to pick me up another one. Another one. And then, I don't was kind of hesitant in adding this in a favorites video, but I have been using them, trying to use them every day just to see how they are, and I was just trying to try them out. But I actually do like them. The primer, I'm not so sure about, but the foundation I definitely like, just because it is a full coverage foundation. And it's lightweight, like it doesn't feel like I have anything on. I'm wearing it today. Found the primer, I'm still not so sold on it yet, just because I feel like it's really, really similar to my Hangover RX from Too Faced. So I'm just like, was it worth it? I don't, I don't know. I don't know yet, but I'll let you know on that one. But the foundation was good. Next, I've been really loving the Bye Bye Under Eye. You guys are probably wondering why this is so small, but literally a little goes a long way i wanted to try this so i got this um when i was in line at ulta a while ago and it was like the little trial size and it's literally one of the best concealers ever i think it's really comparable to the um tarte maracuja one except my tarte maracuja one is like in the older packaging so it's like really hard to get out it's like look at this it's like the really old packaging. I, I didn't even get it that long ago. I think it was right when they just changed, switched up their packaging is when I got it. And it's very unfortunate because it's really hard to get out of there. But um, I think they're really comparable to each other. I really like the consistency of it. It's a little bit thicker. So I use this to correct under my eyes before I put on foundation. And then I put foundation and then um, my Urban Decay highlighting concealer on top. Love this. Next, I'm going to tell you about some powders. Some powders, aka some highlighters. Um, I talked about this in my What I Got For My Birthday video. And this is a Laura Mercier um, highlighter in Indiscretion. And look at this. Just, just, just look at it. It's beautiful. It's like, seriously, so, so pretty. I'm wearing it today on my face and I've been wearing it every single day even days when I'm not wearing any makeup and I just put on my primer my Becca backlight primer I'll put this a little bit on my cheekbones just get that extra glow you know and then um my MAC oh darling highlighter from that from their last um from their last holiday collection literally This is just so, so pretty, like, look at that, look at it. It's just the prettiest highlight, I can't even, it's right there. It's so, just, I'm really glad I picked this up. And I have a little palette in this, I mean, the Lorac Matte Pro Palette, and to say the least, to say the least, I have been loving it. You know someone loves a product when it looks like this. It looks like trash because I've been just going cray with this palette. Last two items are my mascaras that I've been using this month. Um, it hasn't even been this month. It's been a few months now, but I just thought I would mention every all my every days. So these, this is the Maybelline the Falsies Push Up. <laughs> this is the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama waterproof found um <laughs> that's how you know you haven't filmed in forever that you can't even talk it is the waterproof mascara and it is great i love 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 it i use that on my top lashes and then on my bottom lashes i've been using this telescopic carbon black l'oreal mascara and i love these ones for um the bottom lashes just because it has the really really small bristles all right guys so i am done i am done talking i promise i swear i am done i hope you guys enjoyed this video i never do favorites you guys know that but if you guys like them let me know maybe i'll mix them in every once in a while but yes give this video a big 
give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys next time.